I got a new job! Congrats! You're trying to get a job at every school store in the country, right? Not the country! The entire world! The bigger the dream, the better. Where are you off to this time? Hey, I got your pants. Thanks, Moriboshi! I'm going to this place called Manakumiyama this time! Manikumayama? Isn't that a school full of delinquents? You sure about this? It's cool! I'm sure they're nice! Welcome! We're open for business! <laughs> Look at that guy! His name is on his pants! <laughs> he looks like a nice guy, though. Let me get one! Thanks! That'll be 80 cents! I'll spy you if you don't have the money! Hey, Ta, you're so funny! Thanks! Hey, in case you didn't know, most kids here, they're split into two groups. The first one is mostly 10th and 11th graders. You probably have nothing to worry about them, but... Oh, I see! Sounds interesting! Yes, but the other group, the one led by Taki in 12th grade, you should watch out for them. They can get pretty violent, and the teachers can't do anything about them either. They're gonna graduate soon anyway, so they're just waiting out the clock, I guess. And Takia, he's pretty good looking. I heard he works as a model. Anyways, the girls are all over him. He basically runs this place, so... Cool! So if he shows up, don't ask him to pay. Just hand over the goods to avoid any trouble. Huh? Just do as he says. It'll just make things easier. Speak of the devil, that's him. <laughs> all right! <laughs> I'm sure he's a nice guy. I want to be friends with him. We're all friends here. Keita! Yanata, why are you so ugly? Look at you. Get out of my sight. You're making me sick. Maybe it's your hair. Here, let me help you. Ah, that's better. <laughs> nice. Yamada, say thank you. Thank you. What? Does it sound like you mean it? Ah, I see. Just stay out of it. Who the hell are you? Hey, I'm Keita. I just started working at the school store. I just wanted to say hey, Takia. We're all friends here, right? You messing with me? Then he started targeting me. He started filing all kinds of complaints against me for no reason. And he messed with the merchandise. I can't sell these anymore. What a waste. Idiot. <laughs> That's what you get when you mess with Takuya. <laughs> hey, let me help you. Huh? I'm Yamada. I know you were trying to defend me. I'm sorry about this. No worries, man. It's not your fault. Thanks for helping. He's thanking me? I wasn't expecting that. Yamato was a really nice kid. It's squished, but you can have them if you want. You sure? Yeah, I mean, can't sell them anyway, so... My family is really poor, so thank you for this. And Takuya, he's always taking and breaking my stuff, so... Yamada! I tried to tear him up, but Takuya kept picking on him. And then one day... <laughs> I feel like playing some basketball near the school store. Takia threw an item in the store and broke a window. A broken glass fell on Yamada. Yamada! <laughs> Losers. Let's go, dudes. Yamada, you okay? We gotta get you to the hospital. It's okay. I can't go to the hospital. My family can't afford it. I'll pay for you. Come on. And my friend Morboshi, he owns a hospital, so let's go! That's a nasty cut. You're going to need some stitches. Didn't know you were working here today. Thanks, Morboshi! Sure thing. Don't worry about the money. It's on the house. Thank you. He's so handsome. Okay, let's begin. Can you take off your pants? Huh? The cut is pretty big, and I don't want to get your pants dirty. Okay. That's huge. Wow! All right, 
I gotta talk to Takia. I made this omelet for him. Let's see how he likes that. Hope this works. Ah, well, what if he's not hungry? Hmm? What the? I saw my reflection in the window. There were these numbers on my forehead. It's happening again. This time, it's showing the size of your thing. This is embarrassing. Okay, let's interview some people. The average is 13.5 centimeters, so I'm embarrassed to go outside. My students are gonna make fun of me. This is great, actually. This is the kind of thing I wanna know about a guy right off the bat. Woo! It's way bigger than the average, so, whew, it's still kind of embarrassing. So now everyone can see how big your thing is, huh? For some people, this is gonna be pretty embarrassing. But how is this even possible, you know? It's terrifying, actually. Like, who's behind this? This is insane. Maybe we're all just part of some crazy experiment. Takia! Try my omelets! It's really good! Ugh, what the hell is going on? Takia? Wait, Takuya. Are you serious? Oh no, but you're so handsome. We we're all surprised to see the number on Takia's forehead, but what surprised us more was... Yamada? No way! Everyone's staring at me. Yamada's thing was huge! I checked. He's got the biggest one in school. For real? I want to see it! What? Mine is only seven centimeters, and his thing is 18 centimeters? What the hell? Ah, uh, screw you, Yamada. I'm gonna beat you up. Look at him, pathetic. He's got more than 10 centimeters on him. <laughs> Shh, he'll hear you. Lame. Everyone started laughing at him. Stop laughing. You got a problem with me? Say it to my face! Takia, maybe you shouldn't pick on money anymore. Yeah, it'll just make things worse. What's your name? Can we see it? Please? Yeah! Ah, screw this! Size doesn't matter! <laughs> you hear that? Yeah, what a loser! Everyone was laughing at him now. He ran out of the classroom! So, it's been a month since the numbers started popping up. Let's see what people have to say. It's great, to be honest. We get to know the size before we even date them, so... But I don't think size matters that much if you really love the person. And if it's too big, that's kind of scary, too. <laughs> it's smaller than the average, but I'm married with kids, so I don't really care anymore. Hopefully I can inspire others. Size doesn't really matter. <laughs> Before all this, a lot of girls backed out on me when they saw it. You know, because it was so big. But now, they know ahead of time, so things got much better. I'm loving this. Before this, all I cared about was their size. But then I met this guy. His thing was huge, but he was such a jerk. <sighs> I guess there are more important things than size. Ugh, I want a man with a big heart. Then the numbers disappeared. Takia dropped out right after the numbers started popping up. I guess he was too embarrassed. He got a job right after that, but he got fired in no time. Things weren't looking good for him. As for Yamada, your wound is healing up nicely. How's school? Things got much better after Takia left. And after the numbers started popping up, it started talking to me. They still mess with me from time to time, but I made a lot of new friends. Yeah, he's always stopping by the store with his friends. Good for you, man. I'm gonna be leaving soon, but we'll always be friends, man. Thank you. Good to hear. I'm glad everything worked out. Well, that's it for today. Time for me to look for a new job. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!